will show you how to create a panes window using TKinter. Um, so this is really great for adding an extra level of uh, ability to cr uh, creating your layouts and things like that when it comes to um, graphical user interface. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is then showing you how to create a pane, pane window and then I'm going to be using this opportunity to really show you the difference between grid and pack. So those are two different functions in which you can lay out your tabs as well uh, within uh, TKinter. So first thing I'm going to do is let's zoom in so everyone can see. Um, and then we're going to create our paned window. So first things first is we have got to import, import the TKinter module. And then we create our master window just by typing in tkr.tk. Hopefully you remember that. And then you do the same thing to get the geometry and the title of your master window. So your master window is uh, where everything goes. So this is your main window where everything goes. So uh, it's the first window that appears when you uh, run your code. This is your master window. And it's where everything else fits into. <clears throat> so the next thing to do is to create our paint window and we type in uh, tkr dot paned window as you see here is an option and then we can do fill in as we want like always so we can orientate it vertically we can have it raised and so on and so forth and then we equal that to pane and then we're going to pack it so it fills up the entire master window so tkr dot both expand equals one and that means it fills up the whole of the master window. Next thing to do is to create our first pane. So you can have uh, this as labels, check buttons, radio buttons, images, uh, bars, your choice, entirely your choice. I've gone for a label, labels in all of my panes to, to create, make it, uh, keep it simple and easy to follow. So the next thing to do is create our label. Uh, if I can write label correctly. And then um, normally we would put it into our master, but this time we're going to put it into our pane so that uh, we create that paned effect. So instead, normally you type in master to put it straight into your master window, and then you would type in, you know, text and so on and so on. But this time we're going to put it into our pane so that uh, it creates that paned effect, that extra level of layout, of, uh, of changing your layout and increasing your ability to make it more how you want it. And then we type in text, and I've, I've done one here a bit earlier, so text equals first pane, and then I've had it raised so it's easier to see each pane so that you, know, you can see it very clearly what I've done. And then what you do is the pane dot add and then the name of the pane to put it into your pane window. And then we're going to pack it. So I'll be coming back to the grid uh, a bit later on, show you the differences. But um, today, but now we're going to pack it so that it fills the entire um, uh, master window. So if I just have if I just had one pane, I would I would have it. Just that pane one filling the entire master window. But we want to create more, we want to have this paned effect going on. So I have done five more a bit earlier on. You know, I don't want you to stay here, watch me type out five more of exactly the same thing. And then I've just added them again so they fill up the entire page. And then remember to activate it at the bottom using the main loop. And now let's run this. And as you can see here, we have our six panes. Remember, they fill up the entire window. Uh, you can have it so they don't. So that's the, I guess that's kind of the whole point of the pane, is that you can have it maybe filling up a quarter, and then you can have bigger buttons around, and so on and so forth. Um, so there's our six, six panes in our master window. So the next thing to do is I want to show you the difference. I want to show you what happens when I do a grid instead. So let's swap these around. 
So with grid, you have to specify the row and column. That is the difference. And then the last one, the sixth one. And then let's run this and see what happens. And as you can see here, we get, uh, you know, the typical sort of grid fashion pane. Notice it didn't fill up the entire window. That's because I haven't done the necessary things here. I've typed in, I specified the row and the column. But the good thing is this, is I can move this around however I want. I can have this, I can have it saying one, three, five, and then two, four, six, and so on and so forth. Whereas with the pack, that's a bit harder to do. So they have their, their uh, pack and grid have their pros and cons, uh, depending on um, what you like and what you want to do with it. Um, so that is it for Paint Windows. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and uh, don't forget to watch more of my videos and share it and like and so on. Thanks very much for watching.